that is a picture of me, um, that's me in real life without a mustache. Good morning, y'all. I hope you're having a good day. All right, so I get this question a lot, where I get my hardware. And in this video, I'm gonna address that, exactly where I get my hardware. And this is for uh, my firefighter leather. Um, so what I'm gonna do for you in the description and in the pinned first comments, I'm gonna put down every single hardware, the item number, and where to get it. Uh, with the exception of one, I'll show you an overlay of where you can actually find this one of my computer. So we'll do that later on. Without further ado, we're gonna try to make this video short, but we're gonna show you the different products here and explain to you where I get them. All right, okay. let me turn the camera around and punch you in the face. You wanna get punched? All righty, so this is a hardware I use for suspenders, radio straps, and this is for glove straps and chin straps over here. So everything, um, everything I, I use, I get from Weaver Leather, and like I said in the description and in the first pin comment, I'll give you the part number um, of these specific items. But with the exception of this, this is a trig. Uh, this is called a spring, a spring buckle, or a postman buckle. So you guys know it. This one you'll get from a place called Strapworks, and I'll show you an overlay right now of uh, how to get there and how to find it. Um, but yeah, this is, this is where the website I use to get this stuff. And they have other stuff on the website you might be interested in, but it's just easier for me to get everything through Weaver because I have a, an account with them and it's just way simpler. But you can find a lot of other pretty cool hardware on this website. So yeah, that's that. So sticking with the glove straps and chin straps, I use, and then the rest of the stuff I'm gonna show you comes from Weaver Leather, and I'll put the product uh, number on the description. This is a three quarter inch D ring. This is a three quarter inch trigger snap. This one's called a wide, wide guard side release, and this one's kind of hard to find, but believe it or not, Weaver has this one as well. Wide guard side release buckle. Now for my radio straps, and suspenders, I use this in lieu of a snap. I don't like snaps, but I use this a lot. And this is called a button screw stud, um, or the industry also calls it a Sam Brown stud. And this is pretty cool because, because it's just a screw that screws in there. I put Loctite in there though, so it doesn't unscrew. But uh, yeah, it's a screw, I love it. And you just have to, make a hole with a little slit to feed that through there. I think this lasts longer than uh, a line 24 snap, but I use this for both radio straps and suspenders. So a radio strap, believe it or not, it's real simple. Only two types of hardware. You have your trigger snap, um, one inch trigger snap. I use four of those and a D-ring. I use this D-ring for uh, my holster itself. And I made a video on this a long time ago. I'll put a link up here um, on why I do it this way. And the reason why I make my holsters like this is for this reason we're talking about right now, it's just easier to use a lot of the same hardware for different things. If you guys notice all my bag builds, I use a lot of these hardware, a lot of this hardware. So I repurpose a lot of my hardware. So I like to streamline things a lot. Anyway, uh, for, this is for my suspenders down here and I use these buckles. Oh, by the way, all, these, all this hardware comes in three different colors. It comes in brass, stainless steel, and black. And you see that I, you see that I offer uh, antique brass, and it's because I do it myself. I'll put a video up here. Um, same thing, D-rings and an O-ring. So Weaver is interesting the way they call their O-rings because they have different thicknesses. So when you buy an O-ring from them, th that's gonna refer to the actual thickness. So this is an O-ring because this is the biggest, the thickest wire that they, they offer but they have one rings, two rings, three rings, which are a little thinner. The, th the higher up they go, the thinner they get. Oh, I was editing the video and I forgot to mention how I tie this all together. And that is with these number nine brass rivets with burr. Yeah, I don't like using Chicago screws uh, to tie everything together. Oh, that does not belong in that box. Um, however, there is one part of the radio strap, the holster itself that I cannot rivet that in. 
I could, but it's really complicated, and that's the only part I use a Chicago screw. So Chicago screw, and the good thing about Weaver leather Chicago screw, which it does come in a whole bunch of different colors, but you see that head? You can use a flat head or you can use a Torx 15 um, screw a bit, which makes it really awesome for grabbing and it doesn't spin and uh, it won't strip. So Weaver leather sells a Torx 15. I think it's a Torx, right? 15? Or you could just buy one at Lowe's or whatever. Home Depot. Yeah, I forgot to add that into the video. All right, back to editing. All right, let's go back to my outro now. All right, so there it is, a quick short video on the hardware I use and where to find it. In the description and in the pinned first comment, you'll see the product number. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps somebody. I get this comment quite a, lot, uh, quite a bit, um, but I figure I make a quick video and also, I'm done with the video, but if you want to stick around and see the, another ridiculous outro, that's up to you. But other than that, have a good day. God bless you guys. Yeah, yeah, look at my mustache grow, yeah. I got nothing now. Look at it grow really slow. Here it comes, here's a twist. Look at it, it's growing a lot now. I look really handsome, I look really handsome, look at my mustache grow. I love this mustache, I love this mustache. All right, so this is the last of my everyday shop picture videos. This is the end result of my mustachio. And I must say, this is to me the perfect length and thickness. And, uh, I think I learned how to finally trim it a little bit. And yeah, there it is. Haha. -ha. Bye. Thank y'all. Thank you very much for watching me.